Welcome back. This is the I-24 News Evening Edition, one-on-one. -on -one. And tonight I have with me a very special guest, uh, the winner of the Haifa International Film Festival and the winner of the Ophir Awards for Best Supporting Actor in a Movie for his outstanding performance in the film Bethlehem, Mr. Tzachi Alevi. Thank you very much and good evening. Good evening. Thank you for inviting me. You know, the last Mr. Halevi that was here in the studio is former head of the Mossad. Ooh. If I'm <laughs> okay. So you're in a good place. Uh, but in this movie, you're playing, let's talk, start talking about the movie. In this movie, you're playing an operator, a Shin Bet operator exactly. in Bethlehem. Yes. Um, which is, I have to say, it's totally different than the rest of the things that you done in the last few years. Exactly. Well, I've been uh, for the last 20 years uh, performing uh, all around the country in different kind of uh, stages. I'm actually a musician, singer-songwriter. Uh, I've been performing with the Mayumana group. Uh, I guess you've heard of it. Yes, of course. Uh, in Israel and all, all around the world. And uh, actually, if you would have asked me three years ago if I would ever act in a feature movie, I would tell you, uh, you're kidding me, or it's, it's, it's just a dream. So, um, thank God I had the opportunity to, the opportunity to do so, to act in this, uh, in Bethlehem. Um, you, exciting, very So, exciting. like you said, you're a yes. musician, and you decided to take your art and expand it to the big screen. So, yes. I'm taking you back to the first day that you're getting into the set, and you're starting to film. Yes. What was the feeling to stand not in front of thousands of people but in front of the camera wow um, I think it starts like uh, a couple of months before the first day of uh, the shooting um, the way I got into the movie was something also a phone call from a friend of mine uh, Avi Sakharov a journalist in Israel uh, who told me that they're looking for uh, Arab-speaking uh, people, so uh, I jumped jumped on the opportunity and I met uh, Yuval Adler, the, the director and the writer of the movie. Uh, so we started rehearsing a long time, like a couple of months before the, the first day of shooting. What so is exactly the story in Bethlehem? <laughs> because it's a, a special relationship between an operator and uh, uh, informant, informant yes, yes. in the West Bank. Actually, if, if I need to uh, summarize the movie in a couple of words, uh, the movie revolves around the relationship between an Israeli uh, Secret Service uh, officer named Razi and his informant, a 16-year-old uh, Palestinian uh, kid from Bethlehem named Sanfu, uh, whose brother, Sanfu's brother Ibrahim, is uh, the chief, uh, the head commander of the Al-Aqsa brigades in Bethlehem. So the whole plot revolves around this relationship and the conflicts of, of each character. Um, and after two years of relationship, which if I summarize the relationship between them, um, Sanfur lacks a father figure home at his house, and uh, Razi, the, the officer, like, uh, fills up this gap for him. Uh, and, for, and vice versa. And vice versa, exactly. For Razi, who is totally dedicated to his job, and he's always uh, at work, he hardly sees his kids and his uh, wife. So for him, Sanfu is a kind of, uh, of uh, a child, and he really, he really uh, feels for him. So um, eventually, after two years, uh, he's asked to, uh, he has the opportunity to catch, to arrest, the to brother. arrest yes, to arrest But the I don't brother. want to continue because yeah. we need to let our reviewers uh, see the go trailer. and see okay. the film. Let's look at a glimpse from the uh, movie. No problem. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of money. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of money. 
هذا التلفون احسن مع مش رح تقول لي انه في شيء سايق بحاولوا له مصاري اخو صنفور بعينيش الزباله هاي تبعتك ليش يا استاذ يقولوا انه لك شاب ويقول لك دول اللي باقي بقى الاكس لو خبال اكيف اوتو مش اخذ شيء ما يغير كسف من تحت العرش طب من اسئله جينا له The first uh, reaction that uh, the viewers had in the cinema is at the end of the movie, they just sat down. Nobody moved at the end of the movie. But it's a total different reaction for the actors. What was your first reaction when you saw the movie? Because it is different than filming the movie. Well, actually, when I first saw the movie, uh, it was the first time seeing myself on the big screen. So I was analyzing the way I acted, and it was like kind of feeling not so comfor comfortable uh, in the chair. Eventually, after seeing it a couple of times, um, well, you know, I guess I, I was amazed uh, and I was surprised, just as the audience is surprised. Uh, you know, when you, the minute you act in the movie and you're really into this, the, the whole making of it, you, you're not that objective. But seeing the crowd uh, around you and the way they react to it, it's amazing. And uh, the film uh, it, it was featured the first time a couple of days ago. And since then, I, we always get phone calls from people that, that, that have seen the movie and they're just overwhelmed from, uh, from yes, the movie. Yes, this is definitely yes. overwhelming. And I saw the movie and I have to say that it is overwhelming. Um, you know, <clears throat> you're competing for the Oscars. And one of the main questions that uh, you're acting Arabs and Jews together in this film. And one of the main questions that the Arab will be asked when they will go to the Oscar is, do you feel that you're representing Israel? In a way, you are representing Israel. But I want to ask you, what kind of Israel are you going to represent? What kind of Israel do you want to represent after acting in this kind of movie? You know, I guess as an artist, you know, uh, art and politics, and uh, we were, uh, chosen for this movie not because we're Israelis or Arabs. We were chosen because of, of our abilities to, to act uh, and to actually uh, succeed in, in, in giving life to this, uh, to this character, to the characters that, that were written by uh, Ali Waked and uh, Yuval Adler. So, and we spoke about it. We actually, you know, we represent art. We don't come to represent any political view or any um, any sorts of uh, idea. But, but the reality, uh, Mr. Halevi, that is uh, put in this movie is very complex, very unfortunate, very hard. And um, when you see the movie, you say, "How do I? How do we going to get out of this mess?" And I will, I, I will put something else, because Ali Wakit said, the writer, that when he and uh, the co, uh, the director wrote the movie, they didn't want to say anything. Mm -hmm. They wanted to tell a story. Yes. So what is the story? The story is very complicated. But you are saying a lot. Eventually, the story is about human beings, uh, their routine, their day-to-day -day life. Although it's based in this background of, of the Middle East and the situation here, um, I think you can take the, the plot and put it in a different background, it, it will have the same effect. Um, so concerning the, the, the way people react to it, it's amazing to see that no matter what idea you have, whether you're Israeli, Arab, uh, religious, non-religious, young, old, most of the reaction that, that at least I heard that it's such an, uh, a balanced movie. It has no, no saying. It doesn't choose a side. It really brings uh, out the humanity in all this situation. And of course, we need to add that it's, it's an action movie. It's a thriller. It's a drama movie. It's, it's, there is a plot. 
So this is, this is a, also what I think is different between Bethlehem and other movies made with this background, with this political background in Israel and the Middle East. Uh, you're talking about a background, and I yes. don't want to get into your uh, military background because you uh, were in an elite unit in the IDF, but uh, your personal background is very amazing. You lived in Denmark, in Brussels, in Rome, in yes. Cairo, Cairo, in El Mahdi neighborhood in Cairo. How this, all these journeys affected your life? Because it, I believe that it did. Yes, uh, I think I gained a lot. You know, it's, I feel really um, blessed that for, for being able to live in different cultures, to, to meet different people, to speak different languages. Um, eventually, I also felt how it is to be this sort of, let's say, my, minority in, in a in different... Another country. In, in, in another country. Yes, exactly, in another country. Uh, so. I guess if I need to summarize what it brought to me, it's this ability to understand that I'm a human being living in a very um, in a big world with uh, diverse people, uh, cultures, languages. Um, I really gained from it. I mean, I really thank you, thank my parents for this. Uh, <laughs> If they gave you a big opportunity to oh, explore yes. the world. Of course, of course. Of course, of course. Um, before I'm playing with you in um, a game, what if game. What if. Mm. What if game. <laughs> um, you talked about the complexity of, uh, of the situation that you saw in the movie and the, 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 the movie is bringing. Every day that you came back, you have a nine-year-old child. You came back at home and you looked into his eyes and what kind of future did you see for him? I'm an, optim I'm an optimistic person. Uh, and I think concerning the movie, eventually someone who, th who is, let's say, right-wing or left-wing after the movie would probably keep the same ideas. Uh, so let's say since I'm an optimistic, I keep my optimism even after I I've seen the, the movie. Uh, I try to, to teach my, my child um, you know, to be open, to be open-minded. To, to accept uh, each person, no matter his language, color, race. Um, and as I said, I'm optimistic. I believe you know, that eventually things will be better. So let's play a game, what if game. What if. What if, <laughs> what if you weren't an actor, you weren't a musician, you weren't a performer, what were, would you be? Oof. Wow. I guess I need to find um, a profession that will excite me. You know, uh, I've I've chosen music and art because it excites me because uh, I feel passionate towards it. So I cannot think of another profession. Uh, I had my during the the years, you know, uh, striving and, and succeeding in music and you know thinking what's the next step you do. Uh, I've thought of studying uh, architecture, but it's also art. Um, but I don't know, I guess I'll need to find something that I feel passionate about it. And since my passion is my music and my art, I cannot think about something else for now. So let's draw a picture for you in five years. Uh, where do you see yourself? Um, <clears throat> I hope to see myself um, as I, I see my life as, um, you know, people think that life for them is, is, is kind of a way upwards. I see my life as a way going, you know, walking the path and the background just changes. So I guess in five years my background will be changed, but I hope to be, to continue on doing art, creating, uh, being challenged, as I was challenged uh, concerning the movie Bethlehem, for me the first time acting in a movie. So uh, I hope I'll keep on doing uh, what I love to do and hopefully um, reach out to a bigger audience. I have to say that the most amazing thing in this film is that none of the actors is not actors. 
Yes, it's Great. amazing. Shadi Mari, who uh, plays uh, Son for the Kid, and Haitha Mumari, who plays, uh, by the way, the second in command uh, of the um, Al Aqsa Brigade. Uh, amazing, amazing actors. Uh, for me, seeing this movie and seeing them, I really feel um, humbled and uh, and just to, to to let's say uh, share the screen with them. Uh, and it's they did a wonderful job, and they're amazing people also. So we had a great time doing the movie. And uh, another word for Yuval Adler, it's also for him. It's uh, the first feature movie that he that directed, he's doing. and it was just amazing, amazing. And he did an I, amazing job. You know, I have a thing for you. I think for the next few months, I'm gambling that you will be walking on a red carpet, a certain red carpet, hopefully, uh, <laughs> in the Oscars. Uh, Mr. Tzachi Alevi, thank you very much for being with us uh, tonight, and have uh, good luck, inshallah, bezrat Hashem, inshallah. in the Oscars. And uh, we're finishing. Thank you, our viewers, for staying with us tonight. Tomorrow, we will be here, not at the same time. We'll be bringing you the Benjamin Netanyahu, Israeli Prime Minister, live speech from the General Assembly from 4 p.m. GMT from the Jaffa Port. Have a great night.